Welcome to Behind the Screens. I'm your host, Jennifer Jones, and today we'll be discussing the cold, hard facts of the dangers that threaten us from behind our screens. Now, let me start by throwing some numbers at you. There are over 400 million Snapchat users, 3 billion Facebook users, 2.4 billion Instagram users, and 500 million Twitter users as of today's date. That's a grand total of 5,100,700,000 people that use social media every day. It's estimated that out of each of those social media platforms, 10% of its users are online criminals with fake accounts. For a grand total of 630 million online criminals with active accounts on social media platforms. That is way more people than the population of California, New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio combined. That's a lot of danger behind our screens. With us in the studio today is Zach Taylor, a digital analyst from Digital Investigations, a corporation that utilizes state-of-the-art technology along with proven specialized techniques to help victims of online sextortion and blackmail. Welcome to the show, Zach. Thank you for having me. When these victims first contact your company, how are you able to assist them? Well, when they first contact our company, the first thing that usually happens will be a phone call where we do initial consultation. We figure out what's going on, um, you know, how many people are involved in the situation, where did they meet them, uh, and then we get into the nitty gritty details. That's interesting. Tell us about a particular case that you've handled. Uh, there's one case that sticks out in my mind. So it was roughly like three years ago. Um, we'll call him Mr. X. Uh, Mr. X contacted us. Um, I was the person that handled his situation. Uh, he told me that he met this person on Snapchat. Everything was going normal. Uh, and then eventually, uh, once he thought that they were getting closer, um, you know, he did the unfortunate thing of sending inappropriate pictures himself. And then, um, you know, the next thing he noticed, they were out asking him for money. So uh, he contacted us immediately. Um, you know, first thing, we answered the phone, let him know everything's going to be okay. Um, but, uh, you know, we were able to catch it before it actually got sent out to his job. And, you know, he was a VP. So it was pretty, pretty important to make sure that happened. So these criminals play on your emotions and heartstrings to lure you in? Yeah. It's uh, like a wolf in sheep's clothing situation. You'll have no idea that you're talking to a criminal on the other side of the screen. And the next thing you know, boom, they got you. Well, besides breaking his heart, how is this even a threat? It's a threat in many ways. Uh, one of them being reputation, right? These people have full access to whatever you sent them, and the next thing they can do is use it to ruin your reputation, and that can lead to ruining your financial status, right? Your job, friends, family. Uh, we live in a digital culture now, so it can ruin a lot of things. What happened next? Our first hurdle was explaining to our client the jurisdiction laws that we had to face and the anonymity issues that we also had to deal with. Oh my goodness, he must have totally lost it. And rightfully so, but we were able to calm him down and explain to him the situation that we had to deal with and you know, our way to work around it. So how were you able to help him out? We were able to help him out by getting the criminals to stop exactly what they're doing in their tracks and eventually delete the content they had of our client and promise to never speak to him again. How were you able to use your state-of-the-art technology and specialized techniques to make a difference? So we have a system here called IP Toolcation ID. So essentially it gives us the IP address of the criminals along with other tidbits of information. Obviously we can't give you all of that. It's a little bit of a trade secret, but we use this information to get them to stop. How did the criminal respond? Just like you think they would. A little kid with their hand caught in the candy jar. It's truly amazing how digital investigations really can protect your dignity and assure your content never gets released, even when it seems there isn't any hope. Thank you for coming into the studio today and sharing your experiences with us. Thank you for having me. If you find yourself a victim of online sextortion or online blackmail, know that you are not alone. Help is always available at www.digitalinvestigation.com and at 800-790-4524. I'm your host, Jennifer Jones. Join us next time as we dig deeper into the dangers behind the screens. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We offer hours of valuable information on all things sextortion related. Stay informed about the latest tactics used by cyber criminals and learn how to keep yourself and your loved ones safe online. Be the first to know by subscribing today.